Hey guys, so here's all the questions that we're going to be looking at in this question, okay? But I'm going to split the questions up onto different slides, just so we have a bit more space to work with, okay? But these are the questions we'll be doing, but I'm going to split them up. So here is the first three, and then I'll split them up into the next one, and then the last one. Okay, just so it's easier and we have more space. So, 19 girls were required to complete a puzzle as quickly as possible. Their time were recorded, um, and they're shown in the table below. Okay, so first question, identify the median time taken by the girls. So, always make sure that the data is arranged from smallest to biggest, and thankfully it is. Okay, and so, remember, we don't go this way. We're going from the smallest number, and then we're just letting the numbers get bigger, and then we carry on over here again. Okay. So the median, the median is the number that is in the middle. So there are, num there, there are a number of ways you could do this. You could, for example, you could count from the back and the front, and you could just keep doing that. I know some learners like to do this. And you just keep going back like that. One from the front, one from the back. One from the front, one from the back. And we should end up, oh, but this is a bit weird. And then here, and then here. And then the number that's left, that will be your median, okay? If you would rather prefer to use a mathematical approach, because remember the number, the median is the number that's in the middle. That's what median is. Um, the other math, the mathematical way is to say n plus one over two. So the way that that works is n is the number of do, the number of people, so like or number of things. So nineteen. So you say nineteen plus one over two, which is ten. That's not the answer, that's the position. So we then go to position 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So either way we do it, the answer is 19. Okay, now the next one is lower and upper quarters, okay, or quartiles. So here we can just use the formula. So we can just say um, for, for lower quarter, lower, you could say n plus 1 over 4. So that's going to be 19 plus 1 over 4, which is going to give us 20 divided by 4, which is 5. So we go to position 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and there it is. So that would be 17 as your lower quarter. Then for the upper quarter, you use the same formula, but you multiply it with a 3, like that. And so, and, and you know why we're dividing by four? Because we're looking for quarters. But just now when we were, or earlier when we were trying to find the median, which is the halfway, then we divided by two because that's how you divide something in half. You divide it by two. That's why we use a two and that's why we use a four. So if you had to do this one, you're going to end up with 15 as your answer. And so we go to position 15, okay? So we already know that this is position 10, so I'm just going to count from there. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 is 22. So the answer here would be 22. So let's say here that the lower quarter was, what did we say, 17, and then the upper quarter was 22. The next question is to draw a box and whisker diagram. Okay, so you must use a ruler for these types of questions. All right, now, the way that the box and whisker works is that you need to take the lowest number, okay, so that's your starting position, so let's say that that's 14, and then your highest position is the 29, so that would be uh, 15 centimeters, because that's going to be 29, right? For 14 plus 15 is 29, okay, and then what we want to put, okay, so on a box and whisker, you want to put the minimum, you want to put the maximum, which we've done. Then you want to put the lower quarter, which we call that Q1. You want to put the upper quarter, which we call that Q3. And then you want to put the median. And these are all the values that we've already found. So we found the median earlier as 19. So nine, okay, now 19 is five from here. So that would be over there. And then 17, 17 would be three places from there, so three centimeters, so we can go there, so that's 17. And then 22 would be three places from this one, so that's 20, 21, 22 over there. There we go. Now the three center ones, you put a box around them, like that, and then the two on the outside, you just 
try to connect them like that. And that's why we call it a box and whisker. So that's the box. And then you've got like your cat whiskers going off to the side. Okay. And that's that for that question. Remember, we're not done. There are more questions. The next one says that the five number summary, okay, so the five number summary is the box and whisker stuff. So that's the minimum. That's the maximum. Then this is Q1, which is your upper, uh, lower quarter, your upper quarter, and then your median. Okay, so that's what the, that's what the um, five number summary is. It's the, it's the five numbers that we use when we are on the box and whisker. So the first question says, calculate the interquartile range. Now, interquartile range is your upper quarter minus your lower quarter. And so that would be for these boys, it would be the upper quarter, which is 26, and the lower quarter, which is 19. And if you had to work that out, you get seven. If only one boy took 19 seconds to complete the puzzle, what percentage of the boys took at least 19 seconds to complete the puzzle? Okay, wait, what? Oh, okay, so it's not actually too bad. So what we must understand is that if you've got, if you've got a whole bunch of um, values, okay, so we've got 19 boys. And if your five number summary is 15, 19, 23, 26, and 30, then remember that this is Q1, which stands for, it also stands for 25%. Then this is your median, which also stands for 50%. And then this is Q3, which stands for 75%. Okay. So they say only one boy took 19. So what percentage of the boys took at least 19 seconds to complete the puzzle? So they mean at least 19, so 19 or longer. So like the boys who took 21 seconds, 23 seconds, 24 seconds, they wanna know what percentage is that? Well, up to 19, we've covered 25% of the people. So what percentage of the people do we still have on the other side of here? Well, that would still be, we know that there's this, all of this is 100%. Up to quarter one, that's 25% of the values. So then we still have another uh, 75% of the boys. So you could say here, what percentage of the boys took at least 19 seconds? What they mean by at least is 19 seconds or more. So that would be 75% of the boys. Okay, so for this next question, I just went and wrote down the boys' five number summary. So it says, in which group, the girls or the boys? So remember, these are the girls that we looked at in the very beginning. And then the five number summary here, these are the boys. So in which group did a larger number of learners complete the puzzle in less than 23 seconds? Justify your answer. So for the girls, we need to go remember what their five number summary was. And so if you go back to your free, um, not your, 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 your box and whisker, we know that their minimum value was 14. Q1 was 17. The median was 19. Q3 was 22. And their maximum was 29. Okay, so that was the girls uh, box and whisker. So it says, in which group did a larger number of learners complete the puzzle in less than 23 seconds? Okay, so for the boys, we know that their median value is at 23. So their median is at 23. Okay, so remember the median is the is the number that divides everything in half. So that means there's 50% of the go, uh, boys are that way, and 50% of the boys are that way. So for the boys, what percentage of the learners completed it in less than 23 seconds? Well, that would be 50%. So for the boys, we can say 50% completed the puzzle in less than um, 23 seconds. I think the girls actually did a lot better. Check this out. For the girls, their 23 only comes somewhere over here. I know that's a 22, but even if that was a 20, let's just say that that's around about 23, right? So that means that all of these people in the front were less than 23. So remember that this point over here is your Q3. 
So that's 75% percent of the people who have already done up till that point. So that means that if you have to look all the way back, that would be 75% of all of the girls. So for the girls, 75% of them completed the puzzle in less than 23 seconds. Or you could say 22 seconds. So definitely, if 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 there's more, if there are seventy five percent of the goals completed in less than twenty two seconds, then twenty three seconds would be even more. So the goals did way better, okay? Um, or they they completed the puzzle much faster. So we should summarize. So we can say therefore, um, the goals completed. Or we could say more goals, sorry, more goals completed the puzzle in less than 23 seconds.